My name is Tiffany Q, and welcome to my ABRSM Grade Five Theory Lessons series, where I record snippets of my live lessons with my students. Please note that this is not a substitute for a textbook. If you are preparing for the theory exam, I would still recommend having a teacher to guide you through both the coursework and exam paper preparation. In this video, I will be going through the Grade Five sample paper. A from 2021. So before you start this question, I would always recommend that you draw out a keyboard. It just makes your life so much easier. So the first question will always be either the alto or the tenor clef, and they will simply ask you to name this note. It's not too difficult of a question, so it's worth getting correct. So I know that middle C is here. And that is a sixth above middle C, so that is an A. This one here, tick one box to show the correct enharmonic equivalent of this note. So an enharmonic note is a note that has the same pitch as another note, but is written differently on the stave. So in this case, this is a D double flat. I'm going to use a different color to show this note on my keyboard. This is a D, this is a D flat, and this here is a D double flat. Okay, and then I'm going to check all of these notes as well. This is an A double sharp, this is A, A sharp, A double sharp. Nope, not quite the same note as this one. C sharp, well is this note here, so again not quite the same. B sharp, well this is a B, and this is a B sharp, which is this note that I'm looking for. So B sharp is the correct answer there. Next we have the transposition question. For this question, you will need some manuscript paper. I'm also going to draw one out here. This question is very wordy. It says, here is a bar written for the trumpet in B-flat. We don't really need to know that because they will actually give us the transposition. So this here is the important sentence. This bar has been transposed down a major second to be at sounding pitch. So that's really the only sentence we really need to pay attention to. So it's been transposed down and the interval is a major second. I'm just going to write that out here so I can really see. So, the first thing that I transpose is the key. I take a look at the key here, and that is four sharps, meaning that it is E major. I know that a major second is two semitones. So if I go to my E over here, and I go down two semitones, that's one semitone, that's two semitones, we get D major. And just to double check that D and E is really a second, yeah, that's a second, so that's correct. So the new key is D major, which has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So that's step one done. Step two, we're going to move all the notes, in this case down a second, so that F becomes an E, the E becomes a D, the B, we move that down to make that an A, and finally, the C is moved down to a B. And finally, we study the accidentals. There are two here. There is a natural here. And there is a sharp here. So let us talk about the function of these accidentals. This note used to be an F sharp according to the key signature here, but the natural has made it lower by a semitone. And just to double check, you can always look at your keyboard. So it used to be an F sharp, but now it's an F natural, so it's going down a semitone. So we need to look at this note here. Apologies, that was the timer. This here is an E natural because of our key signature here. F sharp and C sharp, it does not affect this note, so that is an E natural. So our E natural is here, and we also want to lower it 
by one semitone to make it this note. And we cannot change the position of this note on the stave. The only thing we can do is to change the accidental. So that becomes an E flat. And finally, this one here. That used to be a B natural, but with the sharp in front of it, that makes it higher by one semitone. So B to a B sharp. So we also look at the corresponding note here, which is an A natural, and we also raise it by a semitone. So we have an A, we raise it by a semitone, it's an A sharp. So that there is the correct transposition. Once we have the correct transposition, we can now compare that to their example and see whether or not their transposition is correct or incorrect. First of all, the key signature is correct. F sharp and C sharp, two sharps, so give that a tick. If this one is wrong, you have to be extra careful with all the other notes and make sure that you're reading everything in the right keys. This here is an E natural, whereas we have an E flat, so that's incorrect. They have a D sharp here, but we have a D natural, so that's also incorrect. And then the last two notes are correct, A sharp and B. It's very easy for me to check this because the key signature is correct, so I don't really have to take into account of the key signature, because if this is an A sharp, I know this is an A sharp. If this is a B, I know this is also a B. Whereas if we have different key signatures, then sometimes the notes look different, but they're the same, and sometimes they look the same, but they're actually different. 2.4. In this question, they will have the same melody at different octaves, and your job is to find out if their statements are true or false. Please read the statements very, very carefully, as that is the biggest reason that students make mistakes. Always choose a reference point as well. For me, I like to choose middle C, or sometimes if there's a note that's closest to middle C, or a note that I find very easy to recognize on all clefs, that can also work. So let me give you an example of that. I'm going to choose the second note, the D, because I know that this D is right next to middle C, so that's very easy for me to tell. So A and C are at the same pitch, true or false? Well, this D here is just one note above middle C. If I take a look at this one, middle C is over here. So those notes are not quite the same. This one appears to be one octave lower than A, so that there is false. A is one octave higher than B, okay? So this D here is right above middle C. If I draw middle C here, and I draw the D on top, which is this one here, this D that I've just drawn is the exact same note as this one in the treble clef. So A is one octave higher than B, that seems to be true. And finally, B is one octave lower than C. So they're saying that this note here is one octave lower than C. Well, middle C is up here, and it seems to be a seventh from that D. If we take a look at here, that's the exact same distance that this note is from middle C. So it looks like B and C are actually the exact same pitches. So B is one octave lower than C. I'm afraid that is a big false.